I grew up in a small Russian city called Vologda. My mom, a former actress and director in a theater, always wanted me to be surrounded by arts. I've seen everyone who performed in our city. Singers, dancers, acrobats, circus animals. My mom bought me a piano before I was even born. And she signed me up for music school and a local kid pop band before I learned how to write. But I think her biggest dream was that I would be dancing. I don't know the main reason for that, but I think it was her unfulfilled dream. In high school she used to do ballet, but because the training ran in the night time, my grandmother would be always worrying about my mom coming back home late. So she forbade her to continue the practice. I always thought that dancing was cool. But I wasn't into ballet. As a kid I was fascinated with street dancers. For me, they were the stars of night parties, uh, streets. They were able to break their bodies in all kinds of awkwardly amazing ways. I even went to learn break dancing, hip hop and house. But as I remember now, I would always be so shy, and I couldn't explain why, though taking so many dance classes and even performing on stage sometimes, I felt kind of tense and clumsy when I tried to freestyle or show off my moves at parties. My mom would be so upset with me when I wouldn't join other kids to dance at parties during our vacations abroad. A slight tone of shame sounded in her voice when she said, Sveta, what's wrong with you? I loved dancing so much. I always thought you would be dancing. I was upset too. I really wanted to obtain the same sense of freedom and happiness that the street dancers from battles and movies seemed to have. But I didn't. I would go to studios and try to keep up with choreographers dancing to the mirror, but my dance experience would end there. I could express myself freely and eloquently in the Russian language, writing poems and prose. The language felt like a natural way for me to communicate. Dance wasn't. Until I moved to another country, where the language was no longer the best medium for self-expression. Coming to Toronto at the age of 21, I could never express myself with words to that extent as I could with my mother tongue. And then dance came to play. I needed it. To speak, to find friends, to say with my body the words I couldn't find or didn't know yet in English. I would learn the moves and grooves not to impress anyone, not to look like anyone. I didn't even care if I was a dancer or not. I just needed more tools to communicate with the community of people with a common interest that gradually became my passion. In dance, grounding means to stay rooted in your lower body which helps your upper body flow freely and quickly respond to any weight changes. For me, finding and feeling that grounding also felt like landing. Dance helped me to connect to people, to land and to myself. And I'm sure that if I go to another country and don't understand the word anyone saying, there will be community of people where dance language is a thing. So, the land is part of me, and I am part of the land, anywhere.